Hey what's up everybody it is Chromat here and today I'm coming out with you with a new tutorial not exactly a tutorial it's a video explaining the four chords of pop now what are the four chords of pop um, I'm gonna try to blow through this as fast as I can because I don't have that much time and then I'm assuming a lot of you guys don't either anyway the four chords of pop the f according to this the four chords of pop is a chord progression that consists of the one major chord the five major chord the four uh, the six minor and the four major now in terms of the C major scale, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So what is the one chord? The one chord is the root chord, which is C major. And then what is the five chord? The five chord is the fifth chord in the C major scale, which is the G major. And the sixth minor is the same, which is the A minor. And then the fourth major chord is the F major. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like on the piano roll. So this is what it looks, uh, so this is what the piano roll looks like, of course. Okay. Okay, so once again, the C major scale. But if we were to take a, so that, so once again, that is the C major scale. Sorry, I just lost my point right there. Um, so the root chord is of the C major scale, once again, is a C major. And if we count five notes into the C major scale, we will get the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. So the, that is the G note, which is the G. So now the fifth chord would be the G major. And then the sixth minor would be the sixth note on the C major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's A. And so the A minor is the sixth minor. And then um, the fourth major chord would be the fourth note on the C major scale. One, two, three, four, which is F major. Now, why is this important? So, um, so once again, the majority of pop songs use a chord progression of this kind. Um, a lot a lot of you probably even produce these four chord progressions without even knowing about it um so exam popular examples of this song of this chord progression being used is adele's someone like you and then another really popular a uh, classical piece is Pachelbel's Canon in D. <laughs> Messed up a little bit right there, but you get the point. Now, how does this work exactly? In order for us to understand how this works, we have to take a look at the circle of fifths, which I haven't loaded up yet. This one. This one's the best one. So, for this uh for this example i am going to be using the beatles let it be because they just so happen to use the crap out of these four chords and so for the beatles let it be we're going to be playing in c major the four chords in c major which is c g a minor and f now okay so how does this work exactly so um, in order for us to understand the circle of fifths, and uh, we need to look at those Beatles chords, which, as I just said, are C, A, mi uh, G, A minor, and then F, which, if you can already tell, they are right next to each other. Now, what the circle of fifths indicate is that these is that these chords sound harm the chords that are right next to each other sound harmonically rich together, meaning if you play them in a chor chord progression it'll sound good. Um, the circle of fifth is, is a great songwriting tool to reference. And once again, like most songwriting tools, they are not hard set rules. You can break them and the song will still sound good. Um, let me see. Now, how is the circle of fifths created? Well, if we go back onto the piano roll, uh, the, root, the root note is C, right, for the C major scale. And if we go up a fifth, one, two, three, four, five, we are at G. And then if we go up a fifth from that, one, two, three, four, five, we 
we are at D. So as it corners to the circle of fifths, C, G, D. And then the, ne and then the next fifth up would be A, E, and B, or C flat, and so on and so forth. The same goes for the minor scales. Um, so if you start at A minor, your root note is at A minor, A minor. You go up a fifth, one, two, three, four, five. You go to E, and then you go up another fifth. You go to one, two, three, four, five. You go to B, as it corresponds with here. Now, why is F on the left side of C? Well, if you, well, if, as it turns out, if you start at C and you go down five, one, two, three, four, five, you get F. And if you go down another five, using the same half and whole steps, one, two, three, four, five, you go to B flat, which it has indi is indicated here. Once again, uh, this this is kind of like a reference to show you what chords go harmonically well together. If you're playing in the key of D major, um, these chords are what will go well with it, which, as suggested, is played. Well, I didn't suggest it. Which are the all of the chords, with the exception of E minor, played in canon in D. The first chord is a D. Next chord is an A. B minor. F sharp minor. G. D. G. A. A. So. So. Um. So as you can see, Canon uh, Pocket Bell's Canon and D uses all uses all the chords centered around the D. <laughs> the D. Anyway, so once again, go ahead and use this reference and use the chords all around it as the base chords. It'll get you. It'll give you the groundwork for the song at the very least. Then you can start doing fancy things like adding seventh chords and things like that. Um, another thing about this is that there's a thing called the Camelot wheel, which DJs use. Uh, it is it's essentially the circle of fifths. And what what happens is that when DJs are transitioning from one song to another, sometimes they'll have a song in like A minor, and they will transition to another song that is in E minor, and it will sound harmonically good together. If they were to transition to another song outside, it would be a lot more difficult because it'd be a jarring transition. Um, let me see. Did I basically cover everything? Okay, yeah, I did. So um, ho if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like this video, subscribe. I have more content coming up. I try to put out two videos every week. And as always, you guys, have a nice day.